wow, look at you. Alright, so it's another beautiful day here in Ushuaia and today we are taking our very first luxury train ride to the end, end of, of the world. world! How awesome is that? The train ride is an hour and a half going and coming. We're also going to have a lovely surprise for you guys. Yep. You're going to see some beautiful views of the mountains. And we're going to be eating all the way there. Yes, it's going to be awesome. And then once we're done with the train ride, we're going to do some hikes yep. and go to the end of the world wow. post office. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so, a fun day. And it's beautiful weather, guys. The, the visibility is awesome. Oh my gosh, here comes the train. Check that out. That's our train pulling in. All right, guys, a few fun facts about this railway system. It's the southernmost railway system on the planet. And back in the day, it was used to transport prisoners from the city center to the forest, where they would go and chop down trees to use as firewood for the city center's residents and for the prison that they were staying in. Wow. This is pretty cool. First class. First wow, time. look at you. First time we're doing something so luxurious. So, I guess this is your seat and this is mine. How do you know that's my seat? Because yours has a red wine. <laughs> this is pretty cool. It is, isn't it? Oh, it's quite warm. And you can actually strip down in here and you're very yes. comfortable. Wow. We just boarded and are super excited. We want to start off by showing you some trinkets that we got. We got a notepad, some chocolates. We took two photos with the prisoner. Yeah, that comes with your tickets. Yes, and this is actually the very first time we're doing a first class luxury train. <laughs> so, with the premium package, you get to choose three drinks. That can be hot drinks, cold drinks, wine, Right. beer if they have even champagne then, even champagne yeah. yeah and also a choice of different selections of the meal that you would like i chose a lentil soup and i got the uh lamb stew i can't wait to eat i've seen this in movies so many times they're dining the train is moving yeah and we haven't eaten all day so no i'm gonna go in <laughs> we're gonna chow down all right. <laughs> Take a train ride just to see Alright guys, we made it to our first stop, Macarena. I think this was about a 15 minute ride on the train. It wasn't long at all, but check this out. That's the entire train station there. And as you can see, it's a steam engine. The steam is being piped out. Oh my gosh, that is the coolest thing ever. It's pretty nice here. Beautiful flowers. And uh, surrounded by mountains. Gladys is taking photos. She can't get enough of this place. And I do nothing with them. <laughs> Let's go pick up our photos, please. All right, guys, we collected our photos. Do you like them? I don't know. I really didn't get a chance to look. All right. 
Okay. We'll look at them in the train then. Okay. And uh, right now we're just gonna go up and check out the waterfalls. That's called uh, Cascada de Macarena. Macarena. All right, so the staircase is, if you go right, it leads you to the upper level of the waterfall. And the one going left leads you to the lower level. So you get to see it from both angles. And Gladys is racing up to go to the upper level. We only have 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Getting a workout on. Okay, we made it up the stairs. And there is the waterfall. Wow, it's pretty. It's not ginormous by any means, but it's pretty cool. Wow. It goes pretty high up, huh? Yeah. It's so beautiful. I like the green moss coming down on both sides because it contrasts the white water. It's very pretty. Wow, it's all woodsy up here. Imagine how cold it feels here at night. Oh, it must be freezing. And it goes under this bridge that we're standing on. Wow. Okay, so the train whistle blows. And that's our cue to head back down to get to the train. They didn't, much, they didn't give us much time up here, right? No, just 15 minutes. Quick workout, quick view, and that's it. Yeah. Well, I'm looking forward to go back to the train so I can finish my lunch. Oh my gosh, that food is so good. Have my cafecito and relax. <laughs> and just taking the views. Yes. Gladys doesn't want them to take her food away. So she's sprinting now. now. And we're back in. And we're back in. The uh, weather is gorgeous today. I was so afraid it was going to be a rainy, cloudy day today. But with some positive thinking, it's fabulous. It all worked out and our food is here waiting for us. Yes, it is. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to dig in. Let's check out these photos. Oh yeah, let's check them out. Oh, it looks so red there. <laughs> you do, do not do well with sun. Oh my oh gosh. No. What about this one? I'm Let's hoping see. one of them. Oh, I like this one better. Oh, that one is better, yeah. I like that one. That's my favorite. I'm so happy we were able to take two photos. <laughs> All right, chow time. Time to eat again, guys. guys that's the end of the line for us we're back at the main station and now we're going to take a taxi back into the national park because gladys has an awesome itinerary plan that's right so let's go because it is time to explore remote post offices in the world yeah it, it's so far south now when you go outside you look across the channel and you can see chile yeah you yeah yeah something like this actually in the galapagos islands yeah we did i forgot the name of that island in the galapagos i think fernandino fernandino like yes yeah, yes yeah. so but, we'll uh, definitely have a link up for that video above but right now what we're going to do is we're going to pick a postcard 
and I think we're gonna mail it out to a family member. Yeah, we are. This is one of the first post offices too that's actually heated with like a wood burning stove. I've never seen that ever. Yeah, it's very nice and toasty. Wow, great. They are, now send them away. I hope it gets there. <laughs> wow. Oh All right. That's Let's it. Look at this beautiful view over there. Oh, oh wow. So that's Chile, all of that is Chile over there and look how rough this beach is and it's very windy out here. Okay now we're at the Lago Asigami lookout point which that just translates into the Asagami lake. It's kind of weird that this is a lake because it's like a beach, one of yeah. the beaches in uh, Peru, Lima, Peru, with all the pebbles. Yeah. You know, and that's pretty that's awesome. And crazy enough, there are at least two falcons. One like just flew right into my camera. Startled me. And, yeah. <laughs> and then they just land right next to people and stand there and start like checking them out. This is awesome here. You get to, there's a little lookout point right there and you can walk on the beach. Yeah. Just go for a nice short walk again with the stunning views. The clouds are beautiful. So is the sky is so blue. Yeah, this is something you see like in, uh, in books. Guys, there's a fox on the beach. I can't believe this. Look at this. What are the chances of coming here, seeing two falcons, and now a fox? Look at this guy. 